like this one again. So you have to do it so it's square. So if you... I've all seen the pictures you stood on it. You stand on it. Oh. That will take a hell of a lot. Yeah. The fingers are leakier than the bag square. see how many RPM I'm doing. So on the full-size craft the fan was limited to 853 RPM. So RPM doesn't scale linearly with scale. It scales with the inverse square root. So basically the RPM should be... Oops, all right. You alright with that? <laughs> no. Well... Don't bother no, 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 the, link, the, the, <laughs> length, the, the length is a sixteenth. The width is a sixteenth. The height is a sixteenth. All right. Mm -hmm. So if it was a half, you're going to compare that one with this one, for example. Two by two by two. It's two times two times two, so it's an eighth of the weight. Because the weight is obviously defined by length, width, and height. <coughs> so not everything scales directly as the scale. An RPM for a model should actually be higher than the full size. That's what the inverse, rather than the... Rather than, rather than the same. Rather than the same. And rather than just saying, well, it's a sixteenth, surely it should be a sixteenth of the RPM. No, it doesn't work like that. Like small things like insects are... Wings beat like bloody crazy, oh, bit of a bird. Smaller you get, things go faster typically. So yeah, it's more like a fluid at smaller scales. Yeah. It's more like liquid on there, you know. So ba you basically, so this, so this should go four bit. times the speed no. of the uh, full size one, which is about 3,200 RPM. And I do actually run that about that. I only found out, I only thought I'd better look and find out. Did my homework before I come in today, but I actually run that at 3,000 RPM which is about 100 watts. I've done that through the fan calculations in the book, Kevin and I did. So if you look run off there, you can see. About 3,000 RPM there. Which you can be quite comfortable with. <laughs> what's the what's the hover height underneath the hull when it's on the lift, full lift? Uh, well, it's roughly, five, it's five foot six. So what's that? That's sixty six. So it's about four inches. Should be about four. Because if you do find trouble driving it, mm -hmm. you could have you could have Velcro or something under the hull mm -hmm. temporarily.